No idea why you're not losing weight on the keto diet? I can tell you why you're not losing weight on the keto diet, because I am. Tune into this video, I'll tell you exactly why I bet you're not losing, and I'll tell you how to fix it so you can. As you know the drill, if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do, and also be sure to hit that tiny little bell so that you are notified every single time we post a new video here on The Kelly O Show. Hey everybody, Kelly Alexa here, fitness fanatic, serial entrepreneur, confidence coach, and most recently, as many of you know, keto convert. And I was, for those of you tuning in who are new here, the single most skeptical person about the keto diet on the planet. But with the help of my functional medicine doctor, who is the one who told me to go keto in the first place, I have now lost 15 pounds and 17 inches in a little over 11 weeks on the keto diet. And I am now in the process of becoming certified as a keto coach so I can help other women aged 40 or so plus uh, conquer all of their health issues and weight loss issues related to hormones with the keto diet. Tune in to learn more about how you can use the keto diet to conquer your weight loss problems. Okay. Problem number one, you're not counting calories. This sounds so basic and it is basic, but the number one comment that I typically hear when I tell people about the success that I'm having on the keto diet and people will express their doubts about the efficacy of the keto diet, I will ask, well, I, why, why are you so skeptical? And I'll tell them how skeptical I was. They'll say, oh, I tried the keto diet, I gained weight. I tried the keto diet, it didn't work for me. And I will first say, well, what didn't work for you or, or, or what happened? And, uh, and I'll ask, were you counting calories? They will always, always, always say they weren't counting calories. And I'll say, why? And they'll say, oh, well, I, I was told that if you, if you went keto, you didn't have to count calories. Nothing could be further from the truth. However, I also have talked about this previously on my blog, on my podcast, just talked about it in general on social media. This is something that is very common, um, I would just say, in the fitness space. It was very common when paleo first became mainstream. People would say, oh, just go paleo. You don't have to count your calories. Just eat clean. You don't have to count your calories. Just you know, buy organic. Go Whole30. You don't have to count your calories. That's baloney. And the nice thing about the resurgence, yeah, I'm somebody who uses air quotes a lot, the resurgence of seeing how much we're starting to see the conversation come back around caloric deficit. The nice thing about that is people are starting to understand how important that basic truth is. You have to be in a caloric deficit in order to lose weight, period. So whether you're vegan, whether you're Whole30, whether you're paleo or keto or whatever, if you're not counting calories, you're gonna end up with a problem. And I'm going to suggest that, in my opinion, if you're somebody like myself who loves food, if you love to cook, you love to eat, you love to do both, you're gonna have a very easy time until things change for you, things dramatically change for me, um, you can reference some of the other videos I'll link up to here at the end of the show um, and also down in the comments below. Things dramatically change for me with my appetite um, and, and my cravings after being on this, this keto diet now for almost, we're coming up on 12 weeks. Um, but in, until that point, it's very easy when you want to eat and you enjoy food to over, let's see, what, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, to overshoot your calories. In other words, I, I realized very quickly in the early weeks of being keto, when I was starting to count my calories and record them in my fitness pal, I remember saying to myself like, wow, I'm gonna easily surpass my calories if I don't keep a, if I don't watch it with this nut butter, if I don't watch it with, um, you know, this cheese spread that I bought, if I don't watch it with the spinach dip. So you've got to count calories and it doesn't matter again, this isn't just strictly about keto, this is about anything. And when people roll their eyes to me and go, oh my God, if I have to count my calories, life's too short. Well then, you know, 
Don't bitch about your pants. Don't bitch about your body in a bikini. Don't bitch about the stuff that you bitch about if you're not willing to do something as simple as counting calories. That's all I have to say about that. It's really not that difficult to count calories. It is very easy, particularly once you get into a groove, you'll start to understand like right now, I'm not recording my stuff in my fitness pal. I have an idea of how much I need to eat. My appetite has changed so remarkably. I don't need to do that. But there is a certain point, particularly in the beginning when you need to do that. And in the, I, I'm just gonna say ultimately, isn't your goal worth it? Mistake number two, you're living on keto shakes and bars. This is pretty simple, but if you go on really any kind of a diet plan and your idea, this is my opinion, okay? Um, your idea of how you want to lose weight is to depend on packaged food, whether it's, I, I could even go so far as to say something like, you know, a Nutrisystem or a, a Jenny Craig. Um, I don't believe in those types of things at all. Um, going on something like, you know, say, nothing but lean cuisine meals and or slim fast or or just you know buying bars and shakes and 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 doing that and then saying i'm going to have a, a sensible meal for dinner that's not teaching you how to eat that's not sustainable um a lot of those things are so filled with preservatives and fake chemicals you're going to end up with stomach aches you're going to end up with indigestion um, you're going to add so many layers of additional problems. You're not going to be filled up. You're not going to be fulfilled. You're not going to find those meals to be pleasurable and you're going to quit. Don't do it. That's, that's the cheaters route. That's the, you want to find something that's going to be enjoyable along the way. This isn't a shortcut. Don't short change yourself along the way find something that's going to be enjoyable, find something that's going to be a lifestyle change. Trust me, this can be a lifestyle change. I have never, uh, this whole time that I've been on the keto diet, not enjoyed the food I've been eating. That's what I want for you. Next mistake, you're eating fast food every day. Now, this is where the reputation of the keto diet and maybe the Atkins diet back in the day um, comes in. A lot of people automatically think being on the keto diet means eating nothing but cheeseburgers every day. Um, if you go on the keto diet and think that you, it's a smart decision to be going to Burger King or Wendy's or Whataburger in my case every day and, and that's what you're going to live on, number one, that's just stupid. Number two, you're going to get bored. Number three, you're going to end up with indigestion or constipation or bloating or gas or any host of any kinds of issues. Is there any problem with you having fast food while you're on this plant? No. Do I have a double Whataburger with cheese with grilled jalapenos? Absolutely. But it's something that I have probably once a week and, and I make sure that I balance that out. You this is not live on fast food diet, not at all. If, if that's your plan going into this, don't even bother. And if that's something that you're doing along the way and you're like, why am I not losing weight? It's time to like reverse and stop and start over and be a little bit more sensible, come on. Next mistake, you're eating the same thing every day. This is a mistake I've made myself even before I was doing the keto diet. Um, you really need to aim for diversity. It's very easy um, to go into the keto diet and not just get a little creative and do some research and, and, and do what I call, I don't know really what the definition of lazy keto is, but I think to just go, oh, well, hot dogs, hamburgers, and then to just kind of rely on that. That's what I did when I first was dipping my toe in the water. I bought some hot dogs. I knew that I could have a hamburger on a plate. And, and I, you know, I told Steve, pick up some spinach dip. And I really didn't know what to eat. And I was, I, I made some, some like a, a recipe from my friend, Lauren Fisher. I made these like um, 
keto cookie dough. It was basically like coconut oil and um, cashew butter. Uh, it was like a, you know, clean eating, but it was like coconut cookie dough recipe. And I was like, I was living on that. Like I would eat that and then I would have like another serving and another serving. And I, you know, like I was living on these keto cookie dough things for meals, like because I was lazy. And, and, and that's, that's silly to, to keep eating the same thing because you're lazy. Diversity is the key to not being bored, to having good tasting food, to giving your, your stomach and your gut and your brain and your, your whole being a great experience. Um, and, and also just to giving your digestive system, you know, something to work with. Don't bore yourself. Don't make this harder than it is. Give your taste buds a, a wild ride. Give yourself some diversity, but it's also good for yourself nutritionally to mix things up. I mean, if you think about all the different sources of protein and all the different sources of delicious, healthy fats that are out there, you have a world of different combos out there that you can cook with. Don't leave it to always having hot dogs and hamburgers every single day. Come on, we all can do better than that. Next mistake, you don't exercise or change your lifestyle. This is something you see a lot. And I think sadly, a lot of people choose to go on the keto diet because they don't wanna work out. That's a shame. It doesn't mean that you have to become a bodybuilder or a fitness competitor. Um, but you really should be looking to change your lifestyle and at minimum start walking 10,000 steps a day. Start getting out and, and doing that. Start adding, um, you know, park your car further, take the stairs, do something, add more activity to your day. Don't take the lazy person's way out. We should all be striving to be healthier and adding more activity to your to your day in addition to changing your diet is only going to help you and it's only going to help your longevity as well as your waistline that's a good thing here's another mistake i think a lot of people don't think about if you drink alcoholic beverages a lot of people might do really well adjusting their keto um, their diet during the day but then they go out and when they drink, they're not addressing their alcoholic beverages. So they'll just drink as normal. Um, when I go out, I have dramatically altered what I drink. I've researched what carbs are in drinks. So when I drink, I go out and I will order for wine. I order a Sauvignon Blanc or I order a Chardonnay. Those are the, the lower carb um, wines. Um, I tend to not drink red wine, it gives me a headache. Um, I have looked up and I actually will make, um, I know that hard alcohol has no carbs in it. And if I mix my exogenous ketones with, um, you know, the different flavored exogenous ketones drinks that I drink during the day, that's a great mixer to mix with hard alcohol. So it's a wonderful tasting drink as opposed to mixing juice or one of the really high super insulin res producing response um, drinks that are crazy carb heavy. So too many people are not addressing changing their alcohol, or excuse me, alcoholic beverages, and you can destroy yourself with a really sugary alcoholic drink um, if you're not paying attention there. So there's so many different choices. In fact, um, I will link up to below, there's a really good, um, margarita company, a skinny margarita company that we've used. Um, really low carb, fantastic mixes. Um, we love them. And there's just so many new companies out there that have really fantastic lower carb options. So do your research, plan ahead when you're going out. Um, even when I went on vacation, I drank every single night. I just made sure I drank low carb and I still lost weight on vacation. You can still enjoy yourself, just do it wisely. Come on. This is a little bit of a piggyback on what I said earlier, but if you are kind of to what I said about having the, um, the smoothies and the, the protein bars, the packaged keto shakes and protein bars, if, you've, if you're buying just a ton of 
you know, keto cereal, keto cookies, keto, um, you know, fake meals, just everything in your house is like shelf stable keto foods, packaged keto foods. I don't think you're gonna go far. This is my personal opinion, but most of what I eat is real food. Um, in fact, I would say that there's probably, now I will say this, I do try stuff. I get the, um, why am I going blank on the name? Um, Keto Crate. I get the subscription box from Keto Crate every month and I do try stuff out of there and I found some really great companies in there. But um, sometimes I also see some, some protein bars that come in there from some companies and they're like a rock. That's not a reflection of Keto Crate, that's a reflection of the protein bar company. But I've also found some great companies with some really tasty stuff. Um, what, what I found is I do better sticking with real food. It keeps me um, satisfied. The, the few times that I've tried, um, I always share this story. There was one time I wanted to try this Eat Enlightened ice cream. This is not to bash that brand. They make fantastic tasting stuff. But I remember I saw it. I was placing an Amazon Prime Now delivery. I ordered it. Steve and I split one. I was so bloated all day the next day, I couldn't even work out. It's just not worth it. Like one of the side effects, the pleasant side effects of going keto is my stomach issues are gone, my bloating is gone, my digestion is better, I feel better. And then when I eat some of these fake foods, it's immediate, headaches, skin problems, bloating, digestion, it's not worth it. I suggest as well that can impede your weight loss. That's my opinion, not necessarily backed by data, but I've stayed away from it. Look at my results. Just me suggesting it. Do with it what you will. Okay, final tip. If you haven't applied everything that I've shared already in this video, I'm gonna add one final tip that's the icing on the cake. And I'm heavily biased here, I'm gonna fully admit it, but this is based on my experience. If you aren't taking exogenous ketones on a daily basis, you are missing out. Um, I started taking these, I've shared this in the other key, <laughs> I almost said in the other ketones videos, in the other uh, videos where I've shared my keto experience, um, but I started taking them about a week after I went officially on my keto program. So I, I went officially on my keto program June 1st. And, and by officially, I just mean June 1st is when I started weighing myself and measuring myself and really tracking everything. Before that, I was kind of casually on my keto diet, uh, but I ordered my ketones uh, from Prove It and decided to become a promoter because I just had a gut feeling about them. Um, May 31st, so I got my package about a week later um, both my husband and I started taking those. We do two drinks a day and very quickly we noticed, now he's not keto, I am, but both of us noticed a, first of all, a huge boost in energy every day. I was having to take a nap every afternoon and I no longer take a nap every afternoon at all. Have not taken a nap since I've taken the ketones every day. Um, tremendous boost in energy, focus during the day. Most notably, I can't get over the impact it's had on appetite suppression and curbing my cravings. Now, I absolutely think that's in combination with the keto diet, but there was a notable difference in when I was on the keto diet in May and when I added the ketones. There's no, there's no question how much I noticed my appetite changed, my energy changed, uh, my focus changed, and my cravings went down, and my <sighs> feeling the need to snack went away, and everything changed, and, and my weight loss started to really accelerate. So I absolutely tell everybody, like you're, in my opinion, I think you're crazy to not try them. I think you're crazy to not get yourself a 10 day. We've got this 10 day challenge pack. It's 99 bucks. It lets you do what we do. Try two a day for 10 days, some of our best flavors. Um, try it, 
I just think anybody who tries it will experience exactly what we did very quickly. The energy, the appetite suppression, um, the, the improved focus, um, substitute it out for your Starbucks, you know? I mean, there's nothing that, I haven't had anybody try it yet who hasn't come back and, and shared remarkable like, oh my God, why didn't I try this earlier? So to me, in addition to everything else I've shared in this video, this is just like one of those miraculous, like crazy, I wish I would have known about it earlier. I wish I would have known about the keto diet and the effect it would have had on me five years ago. I wish I would have known about ketones two or three years ago. Now I do, and that's why I've become such a crazy keto evangelist. So there you go. Hopefully this was helpful for you guys. Um, I'm happy to answer any questions. I certainly plan to do a lot more videos. Um, a lot of you guys have been asking me to do um, like a day in the life. What do, what do what I eat? What are some of my favorite meals? What do I buy at Trader Joe's? Um, I'm gonna be happy to share that as well. So that's gonna be coming up. Um, but let me know what questions you have in the comments and um, happy ketoing to you guys. That's all I have to say about that. Guys, I hope this video was super helpful. And as I said before, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to leave those in the comments. I'm happy to answer any questions that I can, anything that I wasn't clear about here, anything that I can articulate further, let me know. Of course, if you wanna ask questions privately, email me, kelly at kellyalexa.com. I'm happy to answer those questions as well. And of course, I wanna put out an offer to you. Remember I talked about exogenous ketones. I am a rep for the company, Prove It. They have exceptional products. Not only do they have the exogenous ketones I told you about, um, they also have this ridiculous coffee that I have every morning. Right now they're uh, back ordered because it's so popular. Um, this keto cream coffee, um, it's amazing. They, they're coming out with new products all the time. There's some stuff coming up I can't quite talk about yet. I wish I could. Um, but again, if you become a customer of mine, and I do encourage you, like I said before, if you wanna get started on the keto diet, um, and you wanna try out those exogenous ketones, dip your toe in the water, get yourself a challenge pack. It's 99 bucks. That gives you 10 days to dip your toe in the water. And then what you get is I can be your one-on-one -on -one coach. I'll put you in my private little Facebook group. You can ask questions. I can share recipe ideas. Um, it's as close to one-on-one -on -one coaching as you can get, but I can help you with your you know, daily questions because this is where people ask like, when, when they're most confused is typically in the first 30 days. I mean, I'm still working with my friend Michelle where she's like, what do I eat? What do I eat when, I have, when I'm craving something salty? What do I do for dinner when I'm cooking for my boys? What do I, you know, all of the questions about like transitioning in that first month, that's where I typically find that I can help people the most um, because I've been there, done that, and I'm happy to help no charge. You become my customer, I'm happy to help you in that way. Um, so again, if you have any questions, you want to get started, you want to get started with the trial pack, I'll put some information down below in the comments. Um, but again, if you have any questions, you want to schedule a call with me, I'm happy to do that as well. My email is kelly at kellyalexa.com. Thanks so much for tuning in, you guys. Make sure you're subscribed. I'll see you next time on The Kelly O Show.